Auntie Anne's. Why is it not called Uncle Anne's? <laughs> Men can make pretzels too. Today I'm gonna be taste testing and reviewing Annie Anne's pretzels. In case you don't know who Auntie Anne is, she's someone's aunt that makes a whole lot of giant ass pretzels. I feel like Annie Anne's was very popular in the 90s. I honestly didn't even know that it was still around until today I saw it on, um, I think DoorDash. It said Annie Anne's pretzels. I was like, there's my taste test. <laughs> like I said, I did not know Miss Anne still existed, so I have not had any any Annie Ann pretzels since I was like a small kid. But I do have fond memories of seeing it in the mall and just being like, oh my gosh, big ass pretzels. <laughs> I didn't say that though. I was a homeschooled Christian child. I was probably like, Lord Jesus, those are some mighty thin pretzels. I ordered every single pretzel they have on their menu and every single dip. So I'm gonna try all the dips, all the pretzels, all the delicious saltiness. Bloat me up, bitch. Give me that sodium filled ass. So I got mini pretzel dogs, pepperoni pretzel, sour cream and onion pretzel, roasted garlic and parmesan pretzel, <laughs> pretzel, 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 pretzel. <laughs> sweet almond pretzel, cinnamon sugar pretzel, and original pretzel. Each of the pretzels are around $3 to $5. Now the dips I got are cheese dip, hot salsa cheese dip, sweet glaze dip, honey mustard dip, caramel dip, and marinara dip. That's a whole lot of damn dips. Let's start opening these pretzels up. They smell incredible. Oh my God, like legit, they smell so good. Like a baker's fingernail. <laughs> okay, there are two pretzels in this one little bag. So, uh, this one must be the Parmesan-y one. It just smells very garlicky and Parmesan-y. It smells good though. Very large and in charge. Now this one, might be the sour cream and onion one. It has like all this powder on it and it smells kind of oniony. Smells good though. <gasps> now this one I think is the original. You can tell by the little specks of salt. That smells pretty darn original if I do say so myself. By the way, these are greasy as hell. Are pretzels fried? I don't think so, right? They're like baked with like baking soda on them or something, right? Why are these so oily? I don't get it. Now this one must be the almond one. Oh, it smells like, mmm, kind of like a caramely vibe to it. It smells incredible and it looks so far, I think the most appetizing. Guys, I used to be a salty bitch. Like I would always like gravitate towards salty food, but recently, I've been really into sweet things. Like I get cravings of sugar and chocolate deliciousness. I used to never be like that, but I think I'm changing now that I'm a 25 year old whore. This must be the cinnamon sugar one. It looks gorgeous, like a big donut type thing. Smells great. Oh, cinnamon sugar pretzels have such an intoxicating smell to them. Like it should not be legal, bitch. Oh, okay. So we have the little mini hot dog pretzels. Looks great. Nice, pretty large portion. Some of them look kind of overcooked, but that is okay. We will find the ones that are perfectly cooked. Then we got the pepperoni pretzel. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had like a real pepperoni pretzel. It smells just like pizza. It smells incredible. Pepperoni is everything to me. So I cannot wait to try this one. Now here are all the sauces. We have the marinara, caramel, sweet glaze, hot salsa cheese, cheese, <laughs> and honey mustard, which is the only one that is not on brand with Annie Ann's. This is by Ken's. Okay, Miss Ann, who is Ken? Why have you been mixing your sauce with him? <laughs> I'm gonna set these pretzels up, get my thumbnail, and then taste test everything. And of course, I'm gonna rank all the pretzels from worst to best, in my opinion, at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got me a thumbnail. It is now time to taste all the pretzels. Now, I have opened up all of my little sauces and when I taste each pretzel, I am gonna try them with the sauces that they could be good with. So for example, uh, for the pepperoni one, I'm gonna try it with the cheese one, the hot cheese one, and the marinara. For the sweet pretzels, I'm gonna try it with the caramel and the glaze. So I can tell you guys which sauce goes best with each pretzel as well as telling you which is my favorite pretzel. Okay, so let's start 
with, of course, the original pretzel. It's very pretty, very golden, very simple. Now, y'all, I spent this last Christmas at uh, Disney World, and my friends got pretzels twice. The first pretzel that they got was, like, super dry, but the second pretzel they got was super warm and, like, fresh, and it came with the cheese sauce, and, of course, they shared with me because they know I'm a hungry-ass bitch. And let me tell y'all, it, like, made me love giant pretzels. So, I am so excited to try these. Okay, so first up, like I said, original. I'm gonna first try it with the plain cheese sauce, okay? Well, I should try it by itself first, right? Let me get this in. Okay, so that's by itself without anything. Let me just say, they have cooled down, so they're not gonna be as soft as they usually are when they're fresh, you know? But it still has a pretty good texture. The flavor's good. It's not too salty. Some pretzels can be too salty. This one's not, but it does have a slight bagel flavor. So my mouth is a little confused, but let's try it with the cheese sauce now. Mmm. Y'all, I personally love pretzel cheese sauce, but I feel like a lot of people probably don't. If you have not had pretzel cheese sauce, it's basically almost like melted cheese whiz, like canned cheese, you know what I'm talking about? Like that spray cheese. It tastes like that, but melted. Now I am a trash whore. Y'all know I have trash whore taste buds as well. So I have always loved cheese whiz on crackers. I think it's delicious. So I think that's why I love the pretzel cheese sauce, but some people probably won't like it. People want to come on, sleep puffs. <laughs> can't relate, honestly. <laughs> I can't. Now let's try this original pretzel with the salsa cheese sauce. Mmm. Oh. Hmm. Um, spicy. Good. It has more of a queso nacho flavor to it. But I will say there is an aftertaste of like processedness. Like you just taste like super processed flavor in the background. I don't know how to describe it, but it does kind of like take me out of the moment, you know? A moment that is most pleasing to my career. Now let's quickly try it with the honey mustard by Cans. <laughs> Cans. I thought I wouldn't like it, but mm, that's good. The sweetness of the honey mustard with the saltiness of the pretzel works so well. That is delicious, like so good. And I am trying all the sauces because each of them are a dollar, like they're not free. And so if you have to pay it for a sauce, I want y'all to know which sauce is best with which pretzel, you know? I think that the best sauce for the original pretzel is the honey mustard. Next up, let's try a sweet one. Let's do the almond pretzel, ooh. So I'm gonna first try it by itself. I have never had any pretzel similar to this, like an almond pretzel. I've never even heard of that. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Wow. Mm. That's very good. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It has more of a pecan pie flavor than an almond flavor, in my opinion. But the little crunchy almond pieces on top are so good, and they make it so appetizing and just so delicious. It's just a nice, caramely, brown, sugary flavor, you know? Very good. Let's try it with the caramel and then the glaze. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, that is some fat caramel, y'all. That is stretchy. That is goopy. Gwyneth Paltrow, who? Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. That caramel makes it taste like a solid <laughs> Starbucks drink, if that makes sense. If you could chew a Starbucks Frappuccino, it would be this. It's very good, but very, very sweet with caramel. Let's try it with this glaze now, which has kind of crusted over, but we love that for us. Okay, ooh, okay. Hmm. Mm. Mm. It's good, it's just, I don't really like the glaze that much. It's too sweet. It just tastes like liquid sugar. There's no like real flavor in it. Honestly, this pretzel is best alone without any sauces. Both sauces just made it a bit too sweet for me. Next up, let's do the sour cream and onion pretzel, okay? So I've never had this flavor in my life. It sounds very interesting. It automatically makes me think of like Lay's chips, you know? I'm just gonna break off a chunk that has a lot of that powder on it because I really want to get that flavor. Let's first try it by itself. Mmm. Mmm, wow. 
It tastes like a bready chip. <laughs> a chip meets a sour cream and chive bagel. It's like if the chip went into the bagel's hole and created a baby, it would make this. This is very good, but just expect like a very chippy flavor if you get it, you know? Let's try it with the cheese sauce first. Mmm. That's a lot going on. If you don't like a lot of flavor, or if seasonings scare you, <laughs> basically every white person out there, including myself, but I am half Cuban, so I do like seasoning. This is probably not for you, but if you love flavor and you like a lot of different things going on in your mouth, non-horror activities only, I think you will like this a lot. The cheese really elevates the sour cream and chive powder to like a pow. It kind of makes the fireworks go off, you know? So let's try it with the salsa one. No, mm, too salty. The seasoning and the spicy one do not go together. I don't know why, it just does not work. Let's try the honey mustard now. Mmm. Wow, that's really good too. <laughs> just like with the original pretzel, the saltiness with the sweetness, and this is even saltier, goes so well together. This honey mustard so far is the MVP. It's so good. I think the sour cream and onion uh, pretzel goes best with the honey mustard. There we go, bitch. We have three left. Let's do the other sweet one. It is the cinnamon and sugar pretzel. Oh, so this is literally covered in cinnamon and sugar, which we stand. It looks and smells very donuty, very cinnabony, you know? Okay, so let's first try it by itself. Mmm. Mmm. So good, guys. It's the perfect cinnamon and sugar dessert that we crave, that we, I crave you, like Pennywise. There's nothing more to say, it's perfect. It goes perfect with the texture, everything, it's delicious. So let's try it with the caramel dip. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, wow. That cinnamon flavor works so well with the caramel. They match perfectly. Now let's try it with the glaze. Now, usually glaze does go well with cinnamony things, so let's see. Mm -mm. Once again, that's too sweet. It's just legit too sweet. I don't know. I think that the cinnamon and sugar uh, pretzel goes best with the caramel. It just elevates it. It's so good. It's the perfect dessert. We stand. So next up, let's do the hot dog bites. Ooh! Let's try this little pigs in a blanket in the cheese sauce first. Mmm. No. Mm -mm. It does not work with cheese sauce. I don't know why. The cheese sauce is like saltiness on top of something already salty. It does not work for me at all. It makes it taste like really cheap and trashy, honestly. And y'all know I like trashy, but it's too trashy. Let's try it with the honey mustard. I'm gonna just skip the salsa one with this because I just know if I didn't like the cheese sauce with it, I wouldn't like the salsa one with it. Honey mustard, it is. Let's try it. pretty good with it. I feel like this um, honey mustard is a little too sweet for it. And y'all, I forgot to try it by itself. What is wrong with me? Kind of plain. <laughs> I didn't love any of the sauces with it. I didn't love it by itself. They're okay. I think if you get them, they might taste best with like ketchup because none of these sauces are doing it for me. I don't know. We have two left. We have the Parmigiani one and the pepperoni one. So both of these can go with marinara sauce for sure. So I definitely have to try them both with that as well. I haven't tried it yet. Let's first try the Parmigiani pretzel. I'm gonna taste it by itself. It kind of tastes like a super plain breadstick that needs salt and flavor. It's kind of flavorless, to be honest. Let's try with the marinara. Kind of tastes like saltless pizza. <laughs> it's just kind of basic. I don't know. Last chance, let's just try it with the cheese sauce and see if that makes it better. Definitely better, but overall, not a big fan of this pretzel. It's very, very, very plain. 
I don't know. Last but not least, we have the pepperoni pretzel. I saved it for last because it looks the best and it smells the best. It has a bunch of cheese melted on it. Ooh, we are not ready for this. I'm gonna first try it by itself, of course. Mmm. 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 Bit. It's like sauceless pizza. That's exactly what it tastes like, which kind of works. Um, it is salty enough, it's cheesy enough. That pepperoni is like that good pepperoni that crisps up real nice. Let's try with the marinara, damn. Mmm, mmm, that's full pizza. That is full pizza. If you're craving pizza, but there's only an Annie Ann's around, bitch, this is your answer. This is so good. Let's try it with the cheese sauce also. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh wow, that's next level. Okay, let's try it with this salsa version. Mmm. Oh, that was even better. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Last but not least, with the honey mustard. <laughs> this is everything. It goes so well with these three sauces, but I think it goes best with the salsa one. For some reason, it just tastes incredible with it. So good. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I tried all the pretzels. I'm now going to rank them from worst to best. In worst place, I'm gonna have to go with this Parmesan one. It is so simple, so plain. I'm not a fan of it at all. It needs salt. In second to last place, I'm gonna have to go with the little hot doggies. They look good, but they're not as good as they look, to be honest. In fifth place, I'm gonna go with the original one. It's very, very good, but it is the original one. It's kind of simple, so that's why it's fifth place. In fourth place, I'm gonna go with the sour cream and onion one. Very good, I loved it. Third place has to be the almond one. I loved it so much, but there's some tough competition here. Second place, definitely the cinnamon sugar. Iconic with the caramel coins. So good. <laughs> and the winner is the pepperoni pretzel. Who's shocked? I'm not. It is just as good as it looks. It is delicious, especially with that salsa cheese sauce. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite flavor of pretzel? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to become a juicy tomato. I'll see you on next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh wait, and go watch my last video when I do. Oh yes, it's a tea video. Go check it out. I'll see you on next video. Bye.